G'day fellas and welcome to FFA Nomad. We're once again going for a Dark Age challenge with the Mongols. I tell you what, man, these are insanely hard and it's only getting harder because we're up against freaking two Order of the Dragons. We're up against two uh, Ho Holy Roman Empire players. It's not going to be easy. Now, one of the things I I've learned uh, so far is that I just want to split. Oh, look at this. We got ourselves a little bit of deep sea fish down here. All right, this is it. This is where I'm going to start. Uh, we're going to get everybody in, but I'm going to send out like one villager just to be my guy. My guy on the ground. You know what? Let's do that. And let's put you down here and let's move this in. We're playing as the Mongols. We can move our town center if we want to. And what I'm going to do with this, Phil, is because I'm confident in this water. This water to me looks like water that will go around the edge. So I'm hoping that this is going to be part of a larger body of water. Uh, and then I'm going to be utilizing this to power my Mongol economy and spam out horsemen like absolute madmen. That's the plan. Looks like we've got a pretty good map here, a map that's got plenty of stealth forest, which is always great to take advantage of. Uh, I did see for a brief second purple heading towards that northerly position, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Uh, but playing the Mongols in the Dark Age is really, really cool uh, because you don't actually need to throw down any houses, uh, which is amazing because it basically saves you a thousand wood just to start off with now we do see that uh, pink was down in this position so we'll have to keep an eye out on that so we've got pink uh and we had who was the other person that we had was it purple i think it was purple so ideally what i need to do in this game is i need to take out all of the order of the dragon and the holy roman empire players as quickly as i can in the event that they go into imperial age or even i think to the castle age they get access to a unique technology uh that we can actually go into the tech tree right oh hold on who's that we got purple once again. Okay, that is, yeah, that's the Rus player. Uh, but they get access to a unique technology at, I think it is um, the, let's have a look, Order of the Dragon in their keeps. I want to say it's in their keep here. Yes, yeah, slate and stone uh, construction. All buildings gain plus five fire armor, which is basically wild because now they get, um, on their keeps, they get like maximum, uh, maximum fire armor. Uh, and we're only doing 10 fire damage. So we have to be really, really careful uh, with, with uh, you know, with, with how we play it. All right, so we're going to look to try and get ourselves... I think we should be actually de fine down here. We'll put the Gur nice and close. We can look to pick up some upgrades as well. Uh, I'm not going to go for uh, Wheelbarrow, even though that is an option. And there we go. We've got ourselves a nice little drop-off to start off the game. Uh, so good little spot. Plenty of wood around here. We're kind of central as well, which is wonderful. Um, we're going to be getting a Khan in very shortly, which is one of the, my favorite things about playing the Mongols um, in, in this uh, FFA mode. It's a lot of fun. But now we're going to be able to afford a, our first fishing boat, so we're going to make sure that we get him onto deep sea, uh, because deep sea fish are a lot faster to gather than your standard fish uh, on the shoreline, so you always want to focus those. And uh, don't mind me, my wife has just made some fresh sourdough, so I'm just going to chew on that. I hope you guys don't mind. I, you probably do mind. I'm sorry, but uh, I can't edit that out. It's too good. It's way too good. I, it's it's rare that I eat and record. I, I apologize, but it's so good, man. Mm. Mm. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really shouldn't have. Let's see if we can get this a bit closer. There we go. Look at that. Good timing. Great timing there, Drongo. Perfect. You nailed that one. Wonderful. That was, that was absolutely exactly how I wanted it to go. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Yeah, so my, my wife has been uh, cooking up a whole bunch of, uh, of breads recently. She's been doing crazy different stuff. She's, she's always enjoyed cooking. Uh, but uh, recently, it's, it's sourdough that she's doing. And she's master, or trying her best to master it. And she's buying all this, you know, this fancy custom, I don't know, custom flour. I don't even know if custom is the right word. It's, it's, they made this flour in Germany. No, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, she's making sourdough, and it is, it's is—it's one of the best things. If if you're a person, which, like me, you probably are, uh, that enjoys, you know, home-cooked meals, having somebody who likes to cook uh, is amazing because it, it's, it's just, like, really good synergy when you, when you match together. Oh, what do we got here? We got ourselves a little bit of a scout. Green going to spot us out. Hey, Green, how you doing? We got ourselves a hunting cabin over here as well. How much is he getting? We can't actually... Oh, no, that's a house. That's not a hunting cabin. So we're going to go scout this water. I'm hoping that this this water is... Oh, were we not training? We weren't training. I was talk, too busy talking, not busy enough uh, playing. Uh, so I've got a feeling like purple's going to be like right here or something like that. So hopefully he's not going to cut, cut off our water route uh, because we do have lots and lots of potential water to go here. 
Let's pop our movement speed here. All right, looking good, looking good. Absolutely loving this along the edge of the map. Let's get a little bit more vision. Beautiful. All right, let's move up here. That's going to be our next dock. That is so much fish. I love to see it. So we want to go very big on fish. Uh, just because oh, we've actually ended the water up here. So that's an interesting sign. Uh, oh, but he's going to spot us now. And I don't like that. Because he could just be annoying and just siege this down. He's playing the Rus as well. Fuck, this is so annoying, man. At least we just got our scout out, though. And we, we can just... As long as we just keep... Okay, yeah, good. Go, go on. Get, get on out of here. Uh, so he's very close to us here. Um, so... We should be fine, but remember, we don't want to kill him, and that's the problem. When, when you've got someone that's close to you that you don't want to kill, you're, you're kind of forced to, to, you know, to act. So we'll have to see exactly how he looks to play it, but I want peace. He's not going to want peace, though, and this could mean that I have to get on out. Now, we could look to go down south. Uh, judging by the fact that there's already water down there, it could be a good move. That might open him up, and, you know, there's there's a couple of, uh, couple of wood lines down there that we can see, but... I might even throw down a third dock here, just because it feels like we're going to have plenty of uh, plenty of space up here. So I think that's the right call. Let's keep on the move. Let's have a little bit of a look out there. Nothing. And we're just trying to find... All we want is water. That, that's all, all we care about right now. We just want to find the water, get to the water, uh, and that looks like it could be water. That is water. That is water. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's not what we're going to do. We don't want to do that, because then you'll just go over there and gather it. Oh, hello. I, I wish I could give him my sheep as a donation and be like, here you go. Like, let's be friends. But I don't know if he'd take it. Oh, pink is right here. Shit. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Pink's there. Okay, we need to diversify our interests. Hmm. If, if we see him, he sees us. There's no two ways about it. So, oh, this is this is going to be tough. All right. Let's let's move the town center. Maybe we move the TC. Let's, let's get you up here. A little bit closer. Another perfectly timed go. Well done, Drongo. And that is Pink Bang aging up. That's going to be the green player. Uh, this is a nice little spot up here. I do see a couple of wood lines as well. So maybe we can... Let's let's look to go up there right now. I'm going to take the king up. Uh, I'm going to move everybody on up here. Just because... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave my vills here. And I'm going to take my town center up there with the king. So me and the king are going to go. And we're going to go before everybody else is aging up. Fuck off, man. Like, get out of here. Why well, you got attack move on anyway? Uh, I probably want to limit my expansion in this pond, if I'm being honest. So let's hand in, and then let's go up here. Okay, it looks like he has let us pass, which is wonderful. So let's go get take our spot up here. There's lots of deep sea fish. I hate having, I hate moving like this, but it's just one of those things where it's like you never know when you're in. In, in these kind of games, right? Like, you never know where you are in, in relation to everybody else. Uh, we need to watch out for Little Star. Little Star is the guy that we need to pay attention to here. Um, and hopefully, if we just do this... Who's aging up? There's Little Star hitting the Feudal Age. Um, so, let's go scout out for ourselves here. Uh, King is making his way up towards this northern position. Uh, so, we get up here, and we put him on a transport ship, and we feel good about ourselves. Uh, that is going to be lovely. All right, let's throw down another dock here. All right, and I think that with that, we can probably set this as our new home dock. And then here... Well, there's no real way that we can defend this. I mean, maybe an, an outpost would have been nice, but I think we probably just want to leave this now. This is, you know, this is a decent investment that we've put in, and this is going to pay off pretty quickly. But we also need to consider the fact that if we're playing with Pink here on the water, he might look to get aggressive because he knows that we're here, right? Like, there's no two ways about it. I'd love to see how much more there is down this way. So I'm going to go do that. I'm, yeah, you can see he's bringing up everything here as well. Um, so let's have a look and see what we can find. Uh, and we're going to place this town center up against the wood lines. And our king, he can stay here for now. Let's get a couple of, a couple more docks. And we'll throw another one up here. Fuck off. <laughs> not now, not now. Okay, yeah, he's already out here. Ah, oh, bro, look at this. Little star, little star, little star. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, little star? Okay. Uh, should I make a new Gur? Maybe that's the play to make the new Gur. 
I feel like I'm constantly just like dealing with people trying to whack them on me though. Like it, it's just people are very aggressive, which is the right thing to do, right? Like you want to be aggressive on the water, but I never really seem to catch a break where I just kind of have the water to myself and then just kind of chill out. Um, so let's leave all of these here. We'll take one go with us. We'll head north. We don't really need to like, just this is fine, right? And then maybe we can even just throw an outpost down, get a little bit of a heads up. And you know what? Let's just, let's take everybody. We're, we're going all in up here. We might as well. Let's start with the stable. Uh, I did like that location we were in. We were very central. This is going to be like, just from the get-go, it's going to be hard. I swear to God, if, if this guy doesn't train any fishing boats and just straight away starts training, like he, he saw the fucking villager up here with his stupid little scout. Where was it? Like, oh yeah, somewhere right here. And he decides to send a dock. And if he starts making military ships, I'm actually just going to lose my shit, dude. I'm going to be so mad. Like... How do, what do I... I need to pull Vils. I need to throw an outpost down because I, I know that he's going to do that. Let's get... We've got a Gur on the move here. He's going to do it. So if we put our... Uh, he can just... He can do the demo ships though. That's the thing. Alright. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. King, can you please hop back inside? Thank you very much, King. Alright. We got 3k, uh, 3k food. It's a lot. It's actually quite a lot. Uh, but my thinking is we probably want to invest in this because this one's not going to last forever. We know that this guy's already been aggressive as Pink Bank is now going to be reaching the castle age. These guys don't muck around. Let's keep going here. That is Zawurodo also reaching the castle age. So already we found one person that we need to take out. That's going to be our main focus. As I said, I just want to leave Purple. I want to let Purple live his life. I think a single outpost here should be fine until we see something else that's happening. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm not going to be adding more fishing boats now. Let's just focus on adding in our units. We just want to go units. We want to go stables. We've had to move. Uh, and it's it's not... It doesn't feel good getting to move like, or having to move like this. But let's go look for our next target. We'll send these sheep up because we don't really care about these sheep. And we've got our three docks, so these are going to be our primary docks. Oh, we can get you over here now as well. And once this villager has finished, we can bring it over as well. And that's Castle Age. So a lot of people just going straight up to Castle Age at the moment. And we're still stuck in Feudal, and we're going to be stuck in Feudal all game. That's the game. That's the name of the game. So let's keep going, adding in more and more. Uh, and we can probably bring this up now. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't even know why I left it, to be honest. Uh, and let's throw that up. All right, so we're going to continue. So I'm curious how many vills we should probably... or how many horsemen we should go to. Like, maybe we should actually max on horsemen because there's eight people still in the game, which means that there's still a lot of kills to be had. So the sooner... Okay, he's just going fishing ships, which is lovely. If, if he's just going to be fishing here, then I'm... I'm, I'm going to be a happy... I'm going to be a very happy camper. We'll say that much. Uh, but we'll we'll keep an eye on it, though. Okay? Because it's going to be important for us to, to keep note. Uh, we don't really know if he knows where we are. There could be people behind us as well. So maybe we want to think about getting out a couple of scouts here. Um, I'm just going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep adding in more and more production. Like, there's no such thing as too much production. Um, let's get a couple scouts in here. The more the merrier. And the more scouts that we make right now. In fact, we probably should be making scouts. That way we can invest more heavily in... We don't want to use that one. Uh, we can invest more heavily in fishing boats and infrastructure. Alright, let's bring our Khan back. Our Khan's going to stick with our army. I think that's going to be important for us here. We want to leave purple as long as we can. Alright, scout number one. You're going to go up here and then return. Scout number two, you're going to come around here and then return. And scout number three, you're going to go down like that and then return. And there it is. Alright, let's keep going. Two and three and... Next scout, you're just going to go down there. You're just going to sacrifice yourself. You're also going to do the same thing. Go along the edge of the map. And let's go do one of these. It's a lot of fishing, a lot of vills, man. Teal. 
I don't like the fact that you're coming up here. I'm going to deny that. I will deny your request right now, Teal. I don't know where you're from, Teal. What have we got? We got red out over here. Still need to get more stables on line. Red King, Red King, Red King. Red King is on the move. Red King is on the move. I repeat, the Red King is on the move. I have located the Red King. Slowly taking it down. Sorry, Red. You are one of the Order of the Dragon players. You must be eliminated. I can't get in the outpost. Are you fucking serious? Oh, man. That fucking sucks. Haven't been shut down up here yet, so let's keep it up. Let's go look at that king. I'm gonna take you out, mate. I'm sorry. It wasn't meant to be this way. Oh, what have we got here? Teal's down there. What is it that's attacking me? It was green. Alright. Let's go. Sorry, dude. Oi, oi, oi. Why are you in control group one? Oh, I must have F1'd you. I'm sorry. Don't die, don't die. Good, good, good. Stay alive. Dude, this teal guy's got so many prelates. I swear he's just a bot that's just been trained to make prelates better in Spearman. Zio Wang has surrendered. Zio Wang is going to be... Oh, it's yellow. Don't like that. Let's just fucking go. Where's my Khan? Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Fuck yes. We're going to intercept these Vils. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, of course. I didn't even think about that stupid shit. Fuck it, man. Just go straight for it. There's no vills here to repair. Cut, the cut him off. Cut him off. Oh, fucker. What, are we just rallying shit to his spearmen right now? Oh, don't do that so much. God, he's going to take the real, the like the absolute shit out of us right now. Uh, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. There's way too many spears here. And he's putting the vills out to fucking repair. God damn, dude. Oh my lord. This is so hard. Why is this so hard with the Mongols? I haven't had one single game where I've just been able to like kind of chill and build up and then go for strikes. It's just been constantly, uh, constantly like under attack. Oh man, I'm so salty. You want to know what else is salty right now? It's bread. Man. You know what he's saying in, in the chat right now? He's probably saying like, you're a little bitch. 
Pink Bang's been eliminated. Dude, we really needed to kill him as well. Look at this! Seven Lodja galleys. Now we're getting taken out over here. Dude, this is like the last of our food economy. Oh my god, dude. I am not having fun in these games. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having really bad games tonight. This has just been loss after loss after loss. Like, I haven't had one good game. I guess to be fair, I am like, I'm memeing, right? So it doesn't really count. But still, it, like, it 100% counts. I should have just gone and killed this straight away. So we've shut that down completely, but he's going to continue doing things over here. You know what I can do? I can just throw an outpost here and just sit in there. We need to snipe him again. But he's going to be so ready for it. That's the that's the problem. Oh, good good to see. Got a lot of vills on wood. We just don't need this many vills on wood. Oh my lord, dude. People are getting taken out. I gotta keep my head up, alright? Keep your head up, Jonga. Oh, oh, that was that was the that was the guy that was hurting me. Yes! Fuck off out of here, mother Oh yes. Good, good. Who killed him? It was pink. Pink. So who we got left? We got pink, and we got teal, and we got me. And we also have blue. I don't know who blue is, but wh where did we get our 50 pop from? Hold on. Oh, we killed red. Yes, okay. So we just, we just chill. We just chill. We spam fishing boats. Let's get a couple more out here as well. Just a couple more docks. So he's shut this down completely. So nothing we can do about that. Now I could go kill him. Maybe that's the play. Maybe I kill him and then take that back. How do I still have 27 on wood? Oh, you motherfuckers decided to go on wood. <laughs> oh, only Gur problems. Oh, I think you also have that problem with the Arkan as well. That's another annoying problem that happens. Uh, let's keep pumping. Keep pumping fishing boats. Keep pumping vills. Okay, okay. Somebody else took care of our problem, and I love that. You know what I need to be very careful of, though? My king. So I'm going to put you in a transport ship and we're going to float you all the way to the North Sea. And that way, hopefully, people don't look for our landmark. Um, now, we could go and put our landmark like down here. Actually, I think I might even go ahead and do that right now. So let's go take our landmark and we'll go put it down here. We can even just leave it. And then that way we put our king in the opposite uh, area. Another one's bit in the dust. That's the red Rus. That leaves us with one, two. It's pink. I can't use my ability yet, my treason ability, because I'm not in the, the um, castle age. Imperial age now coming through. All right, so we're just gonna keep, we're just gonna keep chilling here. We're just gonna bide our time. Got some sheep with us. Both players reaching the imperial age at the same stage. This right here is an invitation for me, uh, oof, I guess for me, yeah, for me, why not, for me, to go and do some scouting to find out where these guys are at. Now, to be honest, I probably should have got Wheelbarrow a long time ago. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just go burn his fucking base down. That's what I can do. So let's go and get some scouts out. Uh, so green has been taken out. I don't need to put you guys there. In fact, I can probably get you guys back onto wood now. Let's do that. That was done the wrong way there, because we want to hand in. And TC. Alright, and you guys can gather here, and we'll just throw down our town center right there. Uh, yep, perfect. Alright, so we should be able to go siege all of this down, and grab ourselves a little bit of gold. Um, which we can subsequently use. Okay, so scouts, let's go scout. Let's go do some scouting. You down here and scout. We want to come down and up. We want to come up and down. We want to go in. We want to go out. We want to go left. We want to go right. 
We want to go absolutely everywhere with these scouts. We want no stone unturned. What are you looking for, Teal? Alright, so we can now get our wheelbarrow. That's a lot of units, Teal. Teal, don't. I am not threat. Threat is pink. So let's go put our king over here. Let's move this away. Let's move it down here. Oh fuck, he's right there! He just wants the king. He's not gonna get it though. Fuck, he can shoot far, can't he? Oh, stone walls. Shit. So the only way we can get in there is gonna be through a drop. See if we can locate the king. Regnets. Nothing. He's got L's back. Oh, it's oh, it's Swabia. Okay, we lost it. I feel like my big threat here is pink. Right? And he's about to stonewall up completely. He sees everything. Speaking of seeing everything. Until this guy brings a, a vil over to throw down. Not a huge threat. Can I just go like this? Oh, I can't. I don't know where that king is. Keep the transport ship right there. He's building the dock. Let it come up for a little bit longer. What if his king's on water? Fuck, what if his king's on water? Shit. I didn't even think about that. Dock's still coming up right now. Give him 20 seconds. Go. Go right now. Please no blocking. Fuck my life, dude. Fuck my life, dude. No! Are you fucking... Oh. I need to... Dude, so many of these games, I have died because I blocked myself. Why didn't I think... Why did I think that I'm just going to not be blocked through there? God, I'm retarded. And don't get mad that I'm saying that word. I'm allowed to say that word. I'm, oh, there's so much wrong with me, bro. I'm allowed to say that word. Oh, far out. I've lost so many games where I've blocked my own king. Far out, dude. Oh, I would have lost a pink. There's no two ways, dude. He's so big. He is so big, dude, that pink guy. Mmm. Damn.
Man, we had that game. We didn't. We didn't have that game. That's not us. That's us. Let's go look. Oh my god, man. It, it's so hard. Like, I don't get a single game where I just get to chill and build up for just 10 minutes. And I think that's a consequence of like... Number one, people know to go for the water now. So it, you're going to expect that people to, uh, are on there. But I think number two, and this is where I'm like going to blame the game. When everybody spawns together, everybody sees the same water. And I've gone back and had a look at some games where there has been water that's been completely uncontested. Like there was a giant pond that was on this side of the map and a giant pond on this side. Six people were on this pond right here. And this pond was completely, there was not a single person on that pond because everybody spawns in the exact same location. So that was it. Uh, so where are we? We're, we're down here. We're B. Um, and uh, spawns aren't that terrible. So you've got people around here. Um, yeah, so we managed to find decent water there. So all of the water was on the edge of the map here. Most of the water, at least. Uh, was on the edge of the map. So the one thing I want to look at is this Order of the Dragon, right? Because... I don't think Mongols are going to be possible. I'm probably just going to stop Dark Age challenges now because I've just played so many. I'm losing them all. I'm not having fun. I'm really not having fun. And it's a couple of things, right? Like a large part of it is pathing, I think is, is a big reason why I'm not having fun playing it. But I think another part is just, you know, I'm bad at the game, right? Like if I was better at the game, I'd be okay. Like as an example up here, like dying dying to this. Like I, I, I planned out meticulously what was going to happen. His archers attacked me. I'm like, this is fine. I brought my ships into heal, thinking this is fine, not realizing my ships would block it. So, like, when it comes to pathing in this game, there are certain things that will affect your pathing and certain things that won't. So, as an example, if you right-click on a building and you torch it, your units will have what's called uh, free pathing, which is where they can just go through anything um, except for something that is blocking them. But they can go through each other. Um, whereas... In that situation, obviously, the, the fishing boats didn't have free pathing, and I I, I, I was hoping that they would. I, and I, I, I'll be honest, I underestimated the DPS that the um, Order of the Dragon, you know, or the Order of the Dragon archers were doing. Because you got to remember, they're, they're doing like a two for one right there. We now we got to mute this game right now. My my um, stream deck has stopped working for some reason, so I can't mute it uh, with that. But yeah, so I only had like a little bit of water down here, but. This was, this was like a really good pond, and I think we got great value out of this while, while it was up. Uh, probably should have shut this down straight away. Maybe, you know, if there's one thing that could be said about... Bro, I'm going to be honest. I don't know why you went on water. Like, you didn't need to go on water. At the point that you went on water, it was so late. Like, it was such a silly decision to do it anyway. Like, you should have just thrown down a TC. You should have, like, at that stage. Water is great in the early game, and that that's pretty much it. It's, it's not really that good. Um... You know, obviously, it's still pretty decent. It's an infinite source of food. This was just... I, I couldn't believe this. It, the Kremlin Gremlins just really took me by surprise. We got it out. Almost managed to get the king. And then just, you know, the snipe didn't didn't have the legs on it. You know, we brought 90 horsemen to that party. Couldn't find the answer. He was shutting us down. So we felt like we had to go there. Um, meanwhile, over on this south side, I think Teal takes out blue or is it pink that takes out blue I, either way uh we've got a little bit of a, a, a snipe attack from the back here wasn't even close and i, I think that you know I, i'd come through i'd done all the dirty work and it was pink that that took the kill so well played to pink uh this is a really like how do, how do you even fight up against this man 53 men at arms did he go no he went regnants he just went a lot of barracks went as many barracks as i went for uh for stables um i, I was really curious why teal went for me rather than for pink but I guess he probably realized, like, I'm the weak player, so if he can get a free 50... Excuse me, a free 50 pop, then, you know, that's a good thing, right? Free f now, where's the Uvu? I don't have an Uvu, do I? I don't think so. I'm not sure if you get technologies in the Dark Age with the Uvu, but that's probably something I should look into. Gosh, I can't believe I, I messed this up so bad, dude. I can't... Where was his king, by the way? Yeah, his fucking king was here, dude. Oh, 100%, man. Oh, I could have... I 100% could have killed this guy. Oh, that's so painful, dude. That is so, so painful. 
all I do is just run a whole bunch of units over there. Now, the the other thing is this is this is the hard spot, right? Like I could maybe put a dock down here, probably not. Like this doesn't look like it would be dockable, but you never know. Uh, and then I transport ship in the back. But even then, like look at this man. This like I'm not beating this. This is impossible. I can't beat this with with the dark age challenge once you get to a certain skill level like once players are at the gold skill level and they know okay i'm just gonna put my my look, this is the upgrade here as well oh, he's, already, he's already got the upgrade I, I can't kill him i genuinely can't kill him there, there's no way i can do it look 10 damage 10 armor versus fire it's impossible it's this this is in, this challenge is impossible if the order of the dragon and the holy roman empire are in the game and when they're being picked this much 50 percent of the lobby it's not happening it's not happening maybe when the meta shifts a little bit maybe when they get you know nerfed or something like that then i can probably go for it but until then it is going to be nigh impossible on top of that they've also just got really good units against like dark age in the sense that both of them have access to the lunch connect and I, like just even one lunch connect will just destroy you because when you've got this many units stacked on top of each other and you right click a town center what's going to happen is they all stack in right next to each other and throw torches and a single lunch connect just takes a swing and damages 46 units in in just a single swing so i'm i'm gonna put the i'm i'm, I'm gonna say it right now the dark age challenge it beat me uh, at least for uh, at least for the the mongols i'm gonna call it quits here i couldn't do it with the abyss hit i i think look to be honest i could probably do it if i got a good enough spawn so that would be a spawn where as as an example let's say i spawned here and i, I spawned with this pond and i i was up here because remember everybody else like we, we all spawned down on the south side in this map mm. You know, if I'd turned these around and then tried to repair it, and I, it just, it would have just passed back up here. It just would have been like, oh, this is where you want me to go, right? Um, God. Um, really unfortunate. Uh, let, let's go have a look at this. I, I want to see. I mean, I, I know how this ends. There's no two ways about it. Like, this this guy's way too big. Um, he's going to try for stone walls at the back here. Nicely timed stone walls, actually. That would have stopped me completely, but I think he's only just finished that. And if I was paying attention, which I should have been, this king should have been dead. Like, there's no two ways about it. This should have been a dead king. But then how do I go about possibly... And, and this is the thing, right? Like, I, I don't think I can kill pink because he's got full control up here. He's got full vision up here. He has deleted... To be fair, he has deleted all of his, um, his boats. But, like, I'm going to need to come in. I'm going to rush, like, one, two, three, four docks at the same time. Start making transport ships. Hope he doesn't see. He's going to send all of his units up there. Start making, you know, demos at the same time. And then I'm going to run all of my units down here and try and kill the king. Knock on the door of a 10, or 10 fire armor keep. It's not happening, bro. It's not happening. No no way in hell is that happening. 5,000 health. Bombard emplacements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, five, six bombard emplacements on this. Then he's got the town center with emergency repairs ready to go. Not to mention he can just pop it into this town center. He's also got the fire and slate, which means that these outposts have got even more health. It's, it's not happening, man. The Holy Roman Empire is by far or order of the dragon is and holy roman empire are such good ffa sieves like these there's a reason why 50 percent of the lobby is picking these two sieves like they're so incredibly good in ffa um i, I feel like they might be better than the chinese as well but i'm still not 100 percent. like I, I i don't know who would you rather be in the late game like the chinese or the order of the dragon with six relics like <laughs> the answer is clear uh and even in this case like he's i don't know how many relics he's got he's got two relics Hasn't even put the relics inside these. Doesn't care that much. There's no way we're taking him out. Uh, we, we would lose that one. So anyway, uh, we did lose that one in the end. I feel like we probably could have gotten teal if we had been a little bit smarter. Uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't the case. And I, I think that's the other thing is like when you come into these lobbies and there are just so many Order of the Dragon players and Holy Roman Empire players, like one of them is going to make it to the late game. One of them is going to get there. I don't know whether we're going to shelve this challenge, but I tell you what, it's bloody damn tough.